guys. My name is Nick McClary. I'm a second year student in the Doctor of Physical Therapy program at the University of Tennessee Health Science Center, and I'm also a personal trainer. Uh, what I'm going to talk to you today about is uh, exercises or other physical activities that you can do with a partner. Uh, so having a partner is a great thing to have uh, when you're working out. We all know there's those days when you really don't feel like being uh, going to the gym, but that partner can help to motivate you and hold you accountable so that you get to the gym, or it can be that you get to the gym, you don't feel like doing much, that partner can help to push you, uh, you know, create some competition um, just so that you get a better workout than what you would have otherwise. Uh, so what I have set up today is a circuit that you can do with a partner, and it's actually a race. You're going to try to catch your partner while your partner is trying to catch you. So I have four different exercises set up, and what we're going to do, we're going to do this uh, certain amount of reps at each one and go through it four times total. All right? So the first exercise I have here is the squat. All right? You can do these with body weight squats. You can do a bar, do lunges, um, just really any leg exercise. And also, you notice here, I've got a certain amount of equipment set up, so just pay attention to what equipment you have. If you don't have any, I'm going to give you options on each exercise that you can substitute in. Just try and stay within the same template of legs or upper body pushing or pulling or whatever else I give you. Uh, so here we'll have squat, body weight, barbell, lunges possibly, or deadlift. Here we're going to have an upper body push. You can do a push-up on the ground. I'm going to show you a modified push-up on the bench. Uh, you can do a barbell bench press if you have that available, or a dumbbell bench press. After that, you're going to come straight to here. We're going to do box jumps. If you don't have a box, uh, you could use a bench. That might be a little bit high, though. So instead, you could use a jump rope and do the, uh, 20 jump ropes. Or you could also substitute an ab exercise in. Uh, whatever your favorite ab exercise is, you could use crunches. You could use leg lifts. Or you could also even just jump up in the air to stay along with the jumping. Just jump as high as you can for the prescribed number of reps. After that, you'll come over to the upper body pulling and you're going to do a dumbbell row. Instead of that, you could do a barbell row or, as you can see, we have, we have some racks here. Pay attention to your equipment needs. You could do a pull-up. All right? And if you don't have access to any of a dumbbell or pull-up station, um, you could also even load up a backpack or any other thing you have that you could bend over and pull so that you're working your back muscles. Uh, so I'm going to demonstrate, before you start, you want to make sure that you and your partner have the right number of reps that, that you're agreed on. So I would usually say do 15 to 20 at each station. So again, it would be 15 and then straight to this one for 15, straight to the next one, no rest in between. And also the first partner is going to start at station 1, while the other partner starts here at station 3. All right. So I'm going to demonstrate, I'm just going to do 10 reps of each for the sake of time. And with the dumbbell row, since you're doing two arms, um, say that you're doing 20 reps of everything else, you'll probably want to do 10 reps of each on that. So I'll just, dem I'll just demonstrate 10 reps on one arm for that one. But make sure you hit both arms. Alright, so again, first partner here, second partner there. So say go, and you'll start. that you're using the full range of motion each time so that you're not cheating out your partner. Also, if your partner's stronger than you or you're stronger than your partner, you can use different variations that are harder to make it a little bit more even. Straight to the dumbbell row. Make sure your back stays flat on the Then I do the other arm, and then it's straight to squat. So the idea is, you're trying to catch your partner. As they go through the circuit, they're trying to catch you. Hope this gives you a fun idea, a way to set up a circuit for you to have some competition with a partner. Thanks.